Filling a need is the key to successful entrepreneurship. And when Ben Jacobson moved home from Scandinavia, he couldn't find the finishing salt that he fell in love with over there. So he decided to make it himself. Prior to starting Jacobson Salt, I was living in Scandinavia. And I lived in Denmark and then in Norway for five years and really kind of found out about great salt there. When I moved back here to Oregon, at that point I was clearly fascinated by it, but the only salt that I could find was from the UK, France, and then a couple of other um, very small producers. And I started to scratch my head. We're a nation that's nearly surrounded by seawater and just wondered if it was possible to make salt here and spent the next two and a half years trying to figure that out. And of course, anybody can make salt, but it's very, very difficult to make salt that's delicious every single batch. We grade our salt by taste, texture, and color. Our salt is super, super clean and briny with no bitter aftertaste, and that's a very deliberate taste that we strive for in each and every batch. Texture, our salt is super light and flaky, and then color, our salt is brilliant white. And so it's really kind of a culmination of all those three factors that I became fascinated with. And just the fact that like, great salt can influence anything from like super easy and chill to you know all the way up to Michelin star restaurants So you might be wondering what the difference is between table salt and sea salt. Well, generally speaking, table salt is mined from ancient deposits of salt on land, while sea salt is simply harvested from water in the ocean or the sea, and that's why the source of the water is incredibly important. All salt originates from the sea. Even the salt mines that are underneath Detroit was once a, you know, a sea that has, has dried up and is now mined and then made into table salt. That being said, table salt is made in a highly industrialized manner. And what happens there is you get this granulated table salt that's very, very uniform. And while it is uniform, it, it tastes like a chemical. And when you taste a, a granulated salt next to a pure sea salt, you will taste the difference immediately. Table salt generally tastes bitter, and there's an astringency to it um, that tastes like a chemical. And then you taste the sea salt next to it, and you get that like beautiful briny like burst of salinity, and then it dissipates. And it tastes natural because it is natural. 